Welcome back in historic tradition returning to Pike Place Market tomorrow night. It's the Sunset Supper and it brings together so many local restaurants and wineries and it all does benefit the Pike Place Market Foundation. So joining us this morning to talk delicious food, to demonstrate and talk about this fun event, Brian Jar, chef and owner of Jar Bar. Brian, good morning. A, I love your shirt. B, we love the Jar Bar. Tell us a little bit about your establishment. So uh, Jar Bar is a, a little tiny bar base of Pike Place Market. So if you see the fist throwing guys and you take the steps all the way down, I'm at the base of the market. And it was inspired by a trip I did to Spain and Portugal um, where I uh, was researching how they deal, dealt with uh, cured fish or preserved seafood. And it was after I did the cookbook with the Pike Place Fish guys. So that's what we're going to do, kind of a recipe on that. Pike Place Fish has their own canned line now. And a lot of people think canned seafood is just what you see in the grocery store. But there's a very like artisan, higher level version of it. And their coho salmon that they use is incredible. Awesome. So Jar Bar features a dish from that. T tell us about what you're going to be serving at the, uh, the supper tomorrow. Yeah, so we're going to be serving uh, what we call salmon rillettes. So a rillette is usually a protein that's cured in its own like fat. We do a play on that, so it's salmon, and for the for the fat part portion, we use creme fraiche. So I'm going to be doing that. Today. Awesome, I love it. So is that what you're going to be demoing for us, or what are you going to show us this morning? Yes, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to demo I'm going to demo how we do it here, and then at sunset supper, everyone will get like one little bite of it. Cool. Let's show it. Let's let's talk as we do it too. Let's so do show it. us and tell us what you're doing. So right here that I'm like stirring up is the the coho salmon, and it's also got in there like these really nice capers, um, a little papara brine, which is a Spanish like pepper brine, and then creme fraiche. It's got a little bit of lemon juice into it, and then I'm gonna add some apple. So Northwest apples, nice with a little bit of lemon juice. Yeah. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more lemon juice because it gives like a freshness and some lemon zest, which gives even more of like a freshness to it. I love the texture then, of lemon zest. Yeah, exactly. And then you basically just like mix this together. It's, a, it's basically if you think of like when you get like a salmon spread. Yeah. It's kind of in that vein. It's super simple, super then, lovely, but I bet it has all sorts of flavors that just sort of explode when you put it in your mouth. Exactly. And then all it is after that is you'll do some like good like sea salt over the top, mix that together. And then we usually serve it on like a board like this. And then to see how it finished, you do this and spread across the top like that. And then these are chives, the little fresh chives. Yeah, make it pretty. And then and then this is incredible, like finishing olive oil. So you just go across the board like that. I think folks are in That's for a it. real treat tomorrow at the Sunset Supper when they get to taste that. It looks lovely. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for being here this morning. We, we do love um, the Jar Bar, and uh, we really love the Pike Place Market, and we're excited to help support tomorrow night's event. So hopefully we raise a lot of money hey, and we can keep on doing we're, we're, all the good stuff. We're back. We're back after a, a tumultuous year. We're back. It's it's so time it's to thank be back. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much.